I swear to God, I'm going to stop making these videos that say, I'm going to stop doing this for a while. I'm going to take a little break for a while because every time I make a video like that, <laughs> stuff happens. Anyway, folks, it's good friend Dispipe here coming at you from South Carolina. It is Friday afternoonish. I just woke up. Yeah, I'm a night shift, so I try to sleep through the day. Um, it's windy out here. You might hear my little roof out here start creaking. I'm enjoying me some cheap Walmart coffee in my Star Wars mug. And I am enjoying me a Harem and Solomon's. What is this one? Traveling Man. Is this Traveling Man? No, it's the Fellow Craft. It's the Fellow Craft. They don't have Mark. They don't have what they are on there, so I forget because I'm an idiot. Anyway, speaking of idiots, I made a video yesterday smoking a cigar. Um, did a little gall update. And I said on there, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to buy any more cigars. I'm, I'm, I'm smoking more cigars right now because my little tub of door is full, very full, and I don't think I take any more in there. So I'm going to take a little break from from uh, buying cigars. I'm taking a little break from buying tobacco in general. Not because I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to save a little bit of money. I'm about to go on a Disney trip, so every little penny helps. Anyway. This comes down to a little haul and a yabo. I'll get to that one. Anyways, I had to go down to Charleston yesterday, about two hours away. I had to take my kid down there for an appointment. And as he's getting his appointment done, I'm on the internet, on the interwebs, BSing around, and I'm just researching cigars and hear him Solomon. Here, I'm hoping saying that right. Hiram and Solomon, good story. They're actually the guys who made this were actually Masons. We're making cigars for their group or their I don't know what their the, well, I don't know what their actual club is. Actual like their home their home base club, whatever. They're making cigars for them and for any Masons for charity. You know, sell them off for charity because Masons are very big in the charity. Well, they got everybody liked them, so they started selling them. Long story short. Haven't seen them in a while out here. Haven't seen them in the wild. I'm not a big. I'm not a huge fan of smoke. I'm not a huge fan of ordering cigars online because every time I see them order online, they kind of get a little cracked, a little nastied up. There are exceptions to the rules. I do have some I can't find in here or anywhere around here. Probably never ever come this way. But I looked. I clicked on retailers. Retailers. Guess what, folks? There is there is a retailer that sells Hiram and Solomon on the way home. Shit. Can't pass this up. I'm in town. Screw it. Well, as I'm on the way home, or on the way to the cigar shop, which is on the way home, get a little email from smokingpipes.com. You get an email alert. Something stocks. Something is in stock, and you want an email alert. Oh, good. What is it? I'm thinking maybe something I wouldn't really care about. Well, I did care about, but not too, not too, uh, stuck on. No, no, no. It's Margate. Esoterica Margate. I don't know if it's the best one. I don't know if it's the worst one. It's just first time I had an Esoterica blend pop up in my email alert. So guess what? I had to go grab that one. With tax. With shipping. About $20. Yeah, I pay tax for, for smoking pipes. Good thing is, I ordered it yesterday at about 2 o'clock. It's here today at about 2 o'clock, 24-hour turnaround. So I'm not mad about that. Anyway. I go on down to the shop. I go in. It's small. And the human door, it looks kind of... I hate to say bear, it just wasn't very full. You know what I'm saying? It's got some spots in there. I walk in, and it's like, you got any Harem Solomon's? Like, yes, sir, we do, right here to the left. I get in there, table, a table full of them. I'm like, crap. Now, I could have been the responsible adult and say, you know what, nah, maybe next time, but I'm not a responsible adult. I went in and grabbed three. I grabbed the uh, 
Fellow craft, this right here is a traveling man. This is a traveling man. I've heard stories about this one. I've heard, uh, I actually heard the guys, the creators or the owners of the company on podcast talk about this one. And I've heard good things about them. And I can't find the name on this one. Little red band. Um, there's one called the Veiled Prophet. It's an exclusive release. It has the red band, but I do not think this is it. I should have paid a little more attention. I did not. But this is amazing. And so I'm like, okay, I got three. I'm good. I'm good for that. And I turned just to go look around. Saw the, the, the Drew Estate. And I saw the underground section. And I looked down. And I said, oh, shit. In a good way. Kind of. Um, you know me. I'm a big nerd. Star Wars, Disney nerd. Um, the biggest, my biggest weakness is exclusive, is, is, um, exclusive, exclusive stuff. I should say exclusivity. I can't say it. My biggest weakness is, is exclusive. You put exclusive on there, I'm going to freaking buy it more than likely. Anyway. Underground Dogmas. I got two. They had Underground Dogmas. Um, this was released earlier this year, late last year. I went to my local, I smoked, is it anything new? Yeah, try this out. Smoked it, it is a Drew Estate Cigar Dojo collab. And, and I was like, okay, so, so I smoked it, I liked it, and went back for more, to, like two days later, they're all gone. I say, when are you gonna get them back? He says, they're exclusives. Ah, oh, crap, so they're gone. I was like, yeah, basically, I go on my little, my little uh, websites and my little Facebooks and YouTubes and said, yeah, they're all gone. You can't find them anywhere. That's not embarrassing. I really don't care what happens. I'm outside. And, and, uh, shit. So I, I had to grab two of these. If not for smoke, at least for trade. For something. I mean, I don't know how big I don't know how big they are. The trademark, I don't know how, I mean, what their what their uh, demand is. But I got some. I got a couple. I'm gonna keep one. At least trade one. Um, I am looking for a protocol fur missile. If anybody has one, I got I got some for trade. If that's right, I don't know. That's, I'm probably insulting someone who does have have that stuff and. Call me all sorts of names. Anyway, so now my, my tub of door is extremely full. Extremely full. I had to make some sacrifices. I had to throw them away. I got like four or five cigars I got from a... One of the cigar, I think Cigar International had a... Buy a tub of door and get five cigars for like 15 bucks. And only one cigar is like really good. I kept the other ones because they're good, like lawnmower blends. But now they're they're out. Not too worried about them. But my Tupperdoors stock full, and now I gotta smoke freaking cigars again. Even though I'm taking a break, because I gotta start freaking running a little more. So don't blame me. I'm not a liar at all. I said I'm gonna try to. I'm not going to. No, I said I'm not going. I'm said I'm not going to. Blame the system. They hear me. They, it's, something's going on. They, they hear me and they say, hey, he's not going to buy anything. Exclusive stuff. There you go. Hey, there's one right next to you. That's what it is, man. But this is pretty freaking amazing. I don't know what the, bind, I don't, I don't know what the binder filler stuff is. I, forgot, I looked it up. But I forgot already. Uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for letting me ramble. Thank you for watching my little Yabo Hall thing. So instead of saying I'm not going to buy anything, I'm going to buy a lot of stuff now. I'm going to buy everything I see. I'm going to buy every, every tobacco I see, every cigar I want. That's what I'm going to do. Yep, that's it. Anyway, folks, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good one. 
Go do my goal. Look at the videos. Simmer Smokey.